I'm Michelle. I live with my 15-year-old teenage son and my cat, Honeybucks. As a young child, all of our celebrations really centered around some sort of a feast or a meal that happened. It was always just really good, wholesome food, and we had a lot of variety and color and texture on the table, and a real lack of recipe books. You know, it's mostly open the refrigerator, see what's there, and then always feel confident that you can feed whoever walks in the door. Family for me is not just your immediate family, it's those who you bring in to be really close to your heart. And even during the midst of our divorce and separation, we were living together. And we had a roommate at the time who clearly was really hurt and very, very damaged by his family. He said, I knew there were families like this that existed, but I never believed it was true. And there's so much love in this house right now, even though you guys are separating, I'm just blown away at the love. And we treated him with love and with respect. We asked him to join in with us, and he treated us very well. My son and I were actually sitting in our backyard, and we heard the first volley of shots. And we looked at each other, and we went, wow. That was a lot of gun. That was clearly gunshots. 20 minutes went by, and then the huge barrage of gunfire for like a minute. And we looked at each other and went, oh my god. And by that time, we could hear multiple sirens, and there was helicopters overhead, and we were like, wow, this is crazy. What? You know, something really went down in our community. And that evening was my evening to go to my women's circle. And I walked in and all the other women were there and they were like, oh my God, Michelle, how are you? Are you all right? And I'm like, I'm fine. What's what? And then they told me, and I was just like, <laughs> I was in shock. Here I found out that somebody that I knew had just killed other people and he had been gunned down himself, so I was feeling tremendous loss and confusion. How could a young man who only moved from our house 21 days ago, handsome and intelligent and lovable, do this? The tough part for me in that forgiveness place with him was I was just so angry with the community, I was so angry at having to witness firsthand how somebody is so torn down that there's no compassion. Yes, what he did was horrendous, but nobody cared about what got him there. Nobody cared. There was nobody that looked at this young man who didn't get loved. He got beaten every day. There was nobody there who stepped forward and said, this guy was in so much pain. Look what he had to do to say, I'm in so much pain. And then he caused so much pain in our community. And it was so hard for me to watch how he just went from a person to a monster. It's so easy to take someone's humanity away because it relieves our fear in ourself of ever being capable because we don't want to identify with them whatsoever. And so I had to really forgive the community and recognize that I've been there. I've been that community member. But, you know, I've never had it be quite so, so close and personal. Well, the forgiveness challenge was an experience where I really did shift energy that was causing me to suffer. I had to push myself in a lot of amazing ways of pushing into my radical self-honesty, radical empathy and compassion towards myself and others to admit the places that were really painful for me. But I, I did, I pushed in. I love method, I love steps that lead you up to when you put the bite in your mouth. It's like, oh, it's so great. The person often at your table who's consuming it doesn't know that there are all these amazing steps that went into making this bite of food. And forgiveness, for me, is that way. 
there's no part of me that you're gonna go, hey, you've been working on that radical self-honesty. Right on, right? No, but what they get is an authentic me, an authentic, proud of myself me. That's the bite they get. And I'm the only one that really gets to savor the method it took me, the time it took me. And that's okay, because then I can share that with others. Are you ready?